Hi, everybody, and welcome back. This is going to be round two with Jessica Geist. If you haven't already, check out round one. There's a link to the league playlist in the description below so that you can get the lowdown, the deck tech on why I have the cards and the list that I do. I'm not going to go into it in this video. Uh, I believe I mentioned it last time, but also just to let you know that I did meet with Harlan Fear and Jonathan Rossum over the weekend, and we recorded the second part of the Jeskai Roundtable, but it might end up being parts two and three because we were almost on the line for three hours. So by the time I get edited, we'll see how long it is, but if it's over an hour, I'll probably break it up into multiple parts. Okay, magic time. So I'm playing a friendly league with a similar list, slightly different. That's that's often what I'll do is, um, it. If I can get all of this the the main league like the competitive league recorded in a day or two, that's great. But sometimes just because I'm busy, I can only like get to it at any given time. Sometimes it takes four or five days to record it. So I'll play a friendly league on the side just so I can kind of play magic for myself. Anyway, I I forget what I played against round one, but round two I played against eight rack, and it was like really I haven't played against this deck in forever. It is a friendly league, but that's kind of besides the point. It's just a good reminder like how you really need your deck to be as general as you can. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep this. It's We're going to be very slow. I'm going to keep that on top as well. It's a little bit better. We'll draw a second land. Okay, so it looks like it could be Jeskai or... I mean, it could be anything at this point, but we'll start by we will go ahead and start by casting Serum Visions. Colonnade, Snapcaster Mage. I can probably just keep uh, both of these, or maybe just one, because I do want to find a fourth land. Also, I don't exactly know which variant of, of you know, I'm playing against. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, just because I, there's some information I don't know yet, is I'm going to bottom one snap and top another. I have additional selection. The, the main reason is I just don't exactly know what I'm looking for yet, and I don't just want to say, oh, yeah, I want both snaps and then kind of wish I hadn't. Okay, so we're playing against Death Shadow. Hopefully we're not under any pressure next turn and we can lead on Colonnade. Probably will we're gonna we're going to anyway, like if he plays a uh, a Gurmag Angler. We know there's a Snapcaster Mage on top of the deck. I'm hoping that we can just Oh no, it looks like there's a Delve threat coming. So we're still going to lead on Colonnade into Serum Visions and take five. Looking for the Path to Exile. That's interesting. Um, I definitely don't want this electrolyze. And I I don't think I can really rely on this cryptic command to save me from the Gourmet Angler. That would take two attacks and that's gonna put me to ten. Um what I could probably try to do is I know I have this cryptic, so I kind of want to keep the land, but I'm really desperate to find an answer to the Skirmag Angler, and I don't think the Cryptic Command is going to do it. So as much as I don't want to, I feel like I'm sort of forced into bottoming this. Yeah, I think I have to. And it could get stubborn denial, but that's fine. Not fine, but I think what I'm going to do is snap Caster Serum Visions again. If he wants to snap... If he wants to take the, the Serum Visions, then there's another Delve Threat. 
yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I need to find an answer and... Okay, let's see. Okay, so there's a path. Um, we have a couple of choices here. He's probably not going to crack this fetch. So I can snap Serum Visions now. But I think what I probably want to do is just play the mountain and say go. If he cracks the Bloodstain Mire, then I think we can path in response. My guess is, though, he's just going to hold on to it. Yeah. So he probably has a Stubborn Denial. Um... I don't think, however, that I need to necessarily... So the reason I didn't really finish explaining myself, the reason we're doing it this way is if we, if he's stubborn denials our path to exile, then we can untap and snap path. I think it's correct to just path now rather than commit ourselves to taking five because there is some chance he doesn't have a stubborn denial and it'd be no reason to take an additional five. Seems like they always have stubborn denial, but... That's a little unfortunate, primarily because now they have snap stubborn denial. Um, I still think it's probably right to try and act on his turn. Well, I am going to try and path to exile the Grimag Angler, but I the hum was like, you know, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's getting pretty close to to killing him. Well, he's not going to draw any additional cards, so we can just kind of see what he takes. We have access to the path. If he has a stubborn denial or snap stubborn denial, he he already has them in his hand. So, like if his plan is to snap stubborn denial this path, that's going to happen no matter what. I'm going to block, and then I'm going to path. So Snap Stubborn Denial does basically make him dead to Okay, that's cool. So what I was going to say is Snapcaster Mage Stubborn Denial does would put him dead to our burn spell. So opponent has three cards in hand. Uh, Sulfur, Sulfur Falls is a great one. Let's go ahead and pass here. Let's put himself to four. <laughs> we didn't really have to do anything. I mean, we did, but... Okay, so I want to try the new sideboarding plan in this matchup, which is going to be basically the opposite of what I've done before. Um... They're probably going to leave in their removal, so I'm going to actually cut these. I'm going to try cutting the Quellers. Um, the things I kind of want to get out of the deck are, I think I'm going to cut these, this, this, and a Spell Snare. I think one Spell Snare is good. Snapcaster Mage is quite relevant in the matchup. I want to bring in the Purges, these removal spells, these grindy cards, these removal spells, these counter spells. Um, probably 
probably let's try this. So what we're going for here is basically just to try and kill all of this stuff. Now I wish I, I like this plan a little bit better if I have the second celestial purge, just because it's like one, two, three, four. We have six instant speed ways to kill your dudes. Um, more ways to kill your dudes. More ways to kill your dudes. A way to block your dudes or win the game. Win the game. So I'm going to give this a try. Uh, is there any other cards that I feel like I want? Disdainful Stroke is... I, I, I think removal is better than counters. Uh, I don't really think we need counterflux here. I think this is this is fine to give to give a try. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to keep this hand I do think Geist is pretty good in the matchup. Even if you're just like running him into their face and suiciding him, he's not necessarily the worst. Mm. I'm trying to decide, does it make sense to just explosives on one? Are they playing... I feel like some of the lists have been cutting Colligan's command. That's the only thing we're... I guess there's a chance that we need it for Lingering Souls. Um, I don't know what the right play here is. I think when in doubt, you probably just... Don't do... Like... If I throw it out for a one and then he plays Lingering Souls, I'm going to feel really bad about that. So I think I'm just going to play the safe route, which is not to play it. It may just end up getting taken, but... If I play it on one and he stumber denials it, that's also, you know, kind of a something to consider. All right, so that's better than Thought Scour. I mean, he's still untap, land, Thought Scour. That would be one, two, th Thought Scour, five. So he could play something that's six, I think, or Mega six. All right, well, he gets to have our have his way with our hand here. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes Geist to St. Traft. Depends what, yeah, it depends what his hand is looking like. Thought Seize, perhaps. Just another Inquisition. Okay, so he's going to take our explosives. Opponent knows about this. Uh, I think it's probably better off to just play one of the lands he does know about than to give him the extra information that our draw was a land. Okay. If he doesn't do anything and we can somehow get to... So if we can make... If we can get to four before he gets to three, that will help us against, uh, like, I know they, they bring Planeswalkers in the matchup. And then if we can get to five, that makes our Cryptic Command really good. Um, I'll go ahead and play a Scalding Turn at this point. That makes our Cryptic Command really good because if we're at five mana, we can counter anything and also pay for Stubborn, stubborn Denial. So I feel like this looks like a Planeswalker, but... Let's see. I would also let's say, okay, so we can't. Um, I'm going to, this could very easily get Stubborn Denial, but we also have this Settle for the Wreckage. I think I need to try to fight over it. Even, even, even though we can't pay for Stubborn Denial. So now if we draw a path, our, 
we have a, a live spell there. Snap, um, unfortunately doesn't do anything. I'm going to play the Flooded Strand. Obviously we'll settle if we can. His Death Shadow is small at the moment. Oh yeah, I need to get my other White Source. So we can't pay for the stubborn denial. He gets another land. But at least we have like the, one of the scariest one of his scariest starts off the table. We kept the electrolyzes in to clean up Snapcaster Mages, so P and Kirinalar would also be a pretty good draw here. Of course he just drew a smelly mountain. Um I'll play the mountain here. I might want to snap cryptic something. That seems like a good target for snap cryptic. Get a little ahead on cards if some it resolves. All right, so electrolyze is now an excellent draw. His Inquisition is going to whiff. This is when I was talking to. Wow. Okay, that's could ask for a better, better draw there. Kill those two things. Let's go ahead and serum visions. Uh, I'm gonna keep both of these. I will keep the cryptic on. I'll do opt cryptic. Play a colonnade. Attack with snapcaster mage. Cool. Well, I think that it's hard to say how that plan. We sort of got to see it, but it was also kind of a weird game. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for round three. Bye for now.